I'm thrilled today to announce a nationwide nonprofit initiative to test the water of 100 plus U.S. cities for lead contamination. This is Mike Adams, the health ranger, the clean food activist, now focusing on water for the time being with my new laboratory. We've just got photos and videos posted on naturalnews.com. The laboratory is, or the expansion, is part of the nonprofit Consumer Wellness Center. You can see that at consumerwellness.org. And we've just launched a a brand new uh, initiative, a new website called EPA Watch. That's at epawatch.org. And we are asking you to send us water samples from all across the country. We are crowdsourcing these water samples. Now, for our safety, we have to have some limitations on who can send the samples to us. So I ask you for your understanding on this, and let me explain uh, who can send us samples. Uh, We have to have sample traceability. This is for scientific uh, certainty, as well as the safety of our lab technicians, who will be opening the water samples and and uh, prepping them for digestion and oxidation uh, for the instrumentation test. So we need people who are licensed holistic healthcare practitioners or alternative medicine, complementary medicine, chiropractic, holistic dentistry, massage therapists, licensed traditional Chinese medicine practitioners, licensed herbalists, naturopaths, anyone who is licensed but is not an MD. And the reason is I don't trust MDs. Uh, it, who, I, I trust people in holistic medicine and alternative and complementary medicine. I trust NDs, naturopaths. I don't trust MDs because they take money from big pharma and they push chemicals and they, they don't know anything about why fluoride is dangerous in the water. They don't know anything about pesticides or herbicides, nothing. They're, they're illiterate on all of these topics. They're just experts in pushing drugs. Uh, so we don't we don't want anything to do with conventional drug pushing MDs, but we welcome holistic health practitioners, like I said, chiropractors, naturopaths, and so on, and holistic dentists to gather a water sample from your local city, just right out of the tap, and send it to us. And we have full instructions on how to do that at epawatch.org. So I encourage you to go to epawatch.org, find the, um, right there on the homepage, you'll see an article that says uh, how to how to submit a water sample to us. It's very simple. You just get a, essentially a plastic uh, container, a, a, cen- a centrifuge vial, 50 milliliters. You can get them dirt cheap on amazon.com or you might find them somewhere else. We ask that you don't use glass. Now I know that the vial itself will in effect, contribute some uh, phthalates and other polymers into the water, but we're not testing for those, so it doesn't matter. We're looking for lead and other toxic metals. So uh, your plastic vials are fine for that purpose. So anyway, you get yourself a vial, take some tap water, rinse that vial out with that tap water, shake it around, rinse it out, fill it back up, tape that lid shut, uh, download print out the PDF form that we have on epawatch.org and send us that water sample. And we've got the mailing address right there. It's in Austin, Texas. And when we get that water sample, we will, uh, first, for our safety and security, we we will trace that back to you privately. We're not going to share your information publicly, but we're going to we're going to make sure the return address matches your place of business and your phone number is the same as your place of business and so on. And that's how we ensure the the chain of custody for this water sample. Now, if you are a person who's not a licensed healthcare practitioner, just simply go to your chiropractor or your uh, naturopath or your massage therapist or, or whoever is licensed by your state and explain this. They're going to love the project, actually. They're going to love it. So just take them a water sample and ask them to fill out the form and, and send it to us. So uh, we are covering all the costs of the lab testing and the personnel and all of that. It's quite a lot of cost, actually. We expend money for the digestion acids and the argon gas and the helium gas and the consumables on the instruments and lots of other things. Um, not to mention this lab took a million and a half dollars to build in the first place. <laughs> so anyway, we're covering all those costs. So if you can cover the cost of just sending us the sample, that's all you need to do. There's no charge, in other words, for this. We're covering it. 
And the the the, the mission here uh, should be obvious at this point. Uh, we we you know we hate to see children being poisoned in America. We're supposed to be a first world nation with the first world infrastructure, and yet yet the EPA and the government of Michigan, which is wildly corrupt. Uh, they allowed this lead to poison, I don't know how many tens of thousands of children in Flint. And it's not just Flint. It's also happening elsewhere across America. We're going to find out where it's happening. But the government has failed the people. The government has abandoned. These people knew. The the the, the governor, the, the EPA, the federal government, they knew that there was lead in this water. They knew it was poison. They knew children were being harmed. And they decided to cover it up. They remained silent. They betrayed the public trust. They, they betrayed their ethics. They abandoned their duties, their responsibilities, and they allowed children to suffer permanent cognitive damage that will cause mental retardation, that will decrease academic scores, that will make it more difficult for those children to ever learn a trade or a skill to, to get a job, they will have emotional related cognitive side effects as a result of this lead. They will have kidney damage. They will have bone damage. They will have heart damage. This is devastating to these children. And the EPA stood by and let this happen, knowing that this was happening while saying nothing. And I say, I've had it with that. Enough of that. We, the people of America, we have a duty to help our fellow citizens, our brothers and sisters, no matter what their race or religion or sexual orientation, even if we want to go there, it, no, no matter who they are, they're, they're fellow humans, brothers and sisters, children, aunts and uncles, moms and dads all over this country who are being harmed by the government withholding information from the people. And And this has been going on for a very long time. It's not just the Obama administration. It's it's the Bush administration before that and probably way, way back before that, you know, uh, Clinton and Reagan administrations and so on. The government itself is incapable of telling the truth on this issue. It is incapable or unwilling. It is incompetent. And so this task falls onto the shoulders of citizen scientists like myself who have the money the scientific knowledge, the expertise, the ability to learn, and the willingness to put our time and effort toward helping save lives and save people from the toxic effects of water. It's, it's up to us. Citizen scientists must now take hold of this issue, and that's exactly what we are doing. So the website, again, is epawatch.org, epawatch.org. That's where we're going to have results. I'm also going to be covering this at naturalnews.com. I've already posted photos and videos from our new laboratory so you can see some of the uh, instrumentation that we have uh, in the lab. I'll be bringing you many, many more videos and uh, um, photos from the lab as we continue to pursue this project. And then before long, assuming we get enough water samples in, we'll be publishing a map of the various cities across the United States and some of the water quality results that we're getting from those cities. Now, this is a crowdsourced project, which means we're going to try to get as many points of data for each city as possible. Obviously, you can't trust just one data point from one city. Who knows if that's representative of what everybody in the city is getting. But as you add data points to that, you start to get a higher certainty of the composition of the water that you are testing. So we'll be sharing that information. It is the job of, of us, the citizens, to keep our government honest. You know, too many people in America f have forgotten that whole idea. They think the government is there to give them handouts, give them food stamps, or you know, give them a job, or give them this and that, and that they are subservient to the government. This is completely wrong. It is we, the people, that must keep government honest by being the watchdogs that watch over the government. The government is supposed to be servants to us. The government is supposed to carry out 
this kind of science in the interest of protecting the people. And when that government fails to do that, it is the duty of citizens to take a stand, to watch over those regulators, to demand that they become honest, or to even make them obsolete, as we are doing here in this, in this context, by taking over the job that they have abandoned. And so I want to encourage all of you to find other areas where you can do the same thing. Where can you take over from a corrupt government regulator and uh, expose their corruption and do a better job than they did? Where can you help the people? As John F. Kennedy said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. That is exactly what I am doing here and what I'm encouraging you to do this and 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 what i mean by what you can do for your country i mean what can you do for the people of america this country is made up of the people and these people deserve a first world infrastructure they deserve clean water the people deserve to know the truth the people deserve a government that doesn't lie to them the people deserve science that is carried out in the public interest not science that is carried out to deceive the public, which is the way science is conducted in too many universities today and too many corporations like Monsanto and too many government agencies like the EPA, the FDA, the CDC, the USDA, and so on and so forth. It is time that we the people took back this, the, the democratization of science. It's time that we took back the science and carried out the science in the interest of the people. And that is exactly what we are doing here. So in order to make this work, I obviously, I need your water samples. That's all I ask of you. Send, send us your water samples. The instructions are at epawatch.org. There's a downloadable PDF there. We need a lot of water samples. We need thousands. We need thousands of samples from all across the big cities, across America, including Hawaii, including Alaska, and if this is successful, we might expand this to Canada. We might expand this to uh, Europe or Australia, New Zealand. Who knows where this could go? We have the lab now. We have the facility. We have the bandwidth to do this. We have the financial resources to do, to do this thanks to your support. And we will ask for donations at consumerwellness.org, by the way, if you want to help support this effort. Uh, you can you can use the donate buttons there if if you'd like. Uh, so consider that this is going to cost a tremendous amount of money, but we are dedicated to making this happen, and this is just one step in the right direction. And you know you know me if you know me the the health ranger, you know that I've I'm always passionate about protecting life. I'm always passionate about protecting children. And I've focused a lot on clean food in the, in the past few years, but clean water is so important, perhaps more important than clean food in many ways. And when we have, when we have a government scientific dictatorship that is using science to deceive and cover up and poison the people, then something has gone so terribly, terribly wrong in our society that it is time for citizens to stand up, take back the science, take back the responsibility, make those, those corrupt regulators obsolete, and do this science in the public interest and share it freely with everyone who wants to know what they're really drinking in their water or what they're really eating in their food or what's really in a, a pesticide chemical, you know, or, or other environmental questions like that. So I am, I am really thrilled to be able to make this announcement. This has been two years in the making, working on this lab expansion. And when I saw this Flint, Michigan situation unfold and I saw it, news about it coming out of other cities, I knew, I knew right away, we have to do this science. We, the citizens, we, the people, we have to take back the science because we've got the instrumentation. We've got the know-how. I've, I've been trained on all this. Answer. I've been running the ICP for over two years. I've tested thousands and thousands of samples. I have reproducibility of results that's just off the charts. 
we've, I mean, the RSDs, the standard deviations are really, really low, which is good. It means they're tight. I've got good reproducible data. I know exactly how to run this instrument, how to, how to tune it, how to solve all the problems. Uh, I make external standards that are often within 2% plus or minus of accuracy. I mean, I'm telling you, I know how to run this instrumentation. And so we're going to use that knowledge for the public good. And we're bypassing the whole system. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that refreshing? Isn't it great to hear some good news for a change? You know, all of you, all of you who are natural news fans, or you've been following my work, you know, a lot, a lot of my commentary over the last year has been very critical, uh, sometimes negative, <clears throat> or even often negative because of the craziness that's happening in the world. Look how the government is abandoning the people with issues like this. Look, look at the, um, look at the human contamination of marine ecosystems, the collapse of ocean fish populations. Look at the deforestation that's happening in our world. Look at the widespread use of cancer causing glyphosate herbicide in our food supply. Look at the heavy metals in foods that are grown in China, labeled organic, imported into the United States and sold at Whole Foods and other retailers. Look at these betrayals of our children, of our lives. These betrayals the pollution, the contamination, the deliberate chemical application. You've got cities spraying roundups on their city parks where children play and they're being doused with glyphosate. Look at this. It's time. I mean, that's why I've been critical of this because it's time to stop it. But now with your help, we have an opportunity to stop this. We have an opportunity to shine the light on what's happening, to look at the lead in the water supply. And believe me, that is not my last project, that is just the first of many. I'm going to be looking at many, many other things in the water supply. I'm going to use science to tell the truth. You know, you've heard that term truther, and it's used in a derogatory manner by often the mainstream media. Like, if you're a truther, then you're a kook. Well, let me tell you this. I am a science truther because science tells the truth. When you know how to run these instruments, it tells the truth. Oh, you've got 250 parts per billion lead in your water. Oh, you've got 10 parts per million fluoride in your water. Oh, look at this. You've got glyphosate herbicide in, in your food or your water, whatever. Science is truther, uh, truther behavior, you should say. Science tells the truth when you, when you use the instruments correctly, obviously. If you screw it up, you, then, then you don't know what you're looking at, but... If you know how to run these instruments, it's telling the truth. So I am proud to be a truther in the realm of citizen science, to be able to conduct this science for the benefit of you and the children of Flint, Michigan, and all the people all across America who live in these impoverished sections of cities that have been destroyed by horrible economics, by socialism gone bad, by corrupt leadership. They've been destroyed, and so the infrastructure is collapsing and it's poisoning these children. It's usually black children that suffer the worst because these are the areas of the cities that are neglected by everybody, including the black leadership. And so it is these children who need our help the most. We need to use scientific truth to come to the rescue of these African-American children in Flint, Michigan, Detroit, Michigan, and everywhere else around the country, St. Louis, Houston, New York City, you know, Philadelphia. Let's, let's get down to this. Let's get some water samples. Let's see how much lead is really in the water all across America, and let's tell the truth, and let's shout it to the hills so that everybody knows that they've been lied to, the EPA has been covering this up, and we, the people, will not stand for it one more day. We will gather the water, we will use the science, we will tell the truth, we will save lives, we will demand that these city leaders and these state bureaucrats and these federal bureaucrats clean up their act, clean up the water supply, protect our children, build a first world infrastructure. This is America. After all, we're not living in Venezuela, not yet anyway, but let's not let it get to that. First world infrastructure, that's what we, we demand. We're paying tax money, aren't we? Why aren't they building clean water pipes for our cities? It's unbelievable. All right, so I've, I've, I've said enough here. I, yeah, I, I'm passionate about this. I could keep going because this really hits me in my heart 
when I see these children getting, getting harmed, and, and then I know, wow, we've got a lab. We can do something about this. We can, we can save these people. <clears throat> we, can, we can use science to protect the public. And it's about damn time. So let's do it. Join me in this effort. Send me some water samples. Go to epawatch.org. Send me water from all across America, and I will do the lab, I will do the science, and I will do the publishing. We will tell the truth on this. And by the way, if, those, if there are some uh, trolls and conspiracy theorists in the mainstream media out there who are trying to figure out, what's the angle on this? What, what's the health ranger's angle? How is he making money on this? Uh, the answer is, there is no angle other than just the human angle. We're trying to save lives here. This is going to cost me a lot of money to do this. It's going to cost me a lot of time and effort, and it's worth it. It's worth it. Probably the EPA has a hundred, hundreds of millions of dollars in budget, and they still don't do their damn job. I'll do it for free, and it won't take a single taxpayer dollar to get it done. How's that sound? That sounds like citizen science to me, and that is what I love to pursue. All right, so thanks for listening. Take care.